visa application is currently under administrative processing, then this video is going to help you understand why this happens and also what is it that you can do about it. Hi guys, my name is Shachi and welcome to this channel. So I am a travel and a visa coach and on this channel, you will find a lot of content and a lot of videos on the US visa process, right from what are the steps that you need to do to get your visa to clearing the interview. So if you are in this process, I'm going to leave the link for all these videos right above and also in the description box below. Make sure to check it out. I'm very sure it's going to help you. So when you apply for the US visa, mainly there are two possible outcomes which can happen. Either your visa gets approved or your visa gets denied. But sometimes there is a third outcome which happens and this is called administrative processing. So here your passport is kept by the visa officer, but it is put on hold which essentially means that additional background checks are being run on you before deciding the status of your application. So this video is going to be all about administrative processing. We are going to talk about what is administrative processing, why it happens, what you can do about it and so much more. Keep on watching. So let's start with what exactly is administrative processing. Administrative processing basically means that the US consulate is seeking more time or it is seeking more information to evaluate your application. This basically happens when the US Embassy is not fully satisfied or not fully clear with all the documents and all the information that you have provided them. There is no definitive list or there is no uh, set of factors which determine why a person is put under administrative processing. However, the US Embassy does give few factors which they describe as the reasons for administrative processing. I have put this link in the description box below, you can go through it. But just be warned that these are extremely broad factors and even if you go through it, you might not be able to put yourself under any of these. So next let's talk about how do we know if our application is under administrative processing. Now there are various scenarios in which this can happen. The first one is that after your interview, the visa officer himself or herself tells you that your application is being kept under administrative processing and that you will be informed of the next steps. The second scenario is when your passport doesn't come back to you even after a week or 10 days of giving your visa interview. And if this is the case, then you need to check the status of your application online. So log on to the embassy site and check the status of your application and check to see whether it has been kept under administrative processing. The third scenario is pretty rare, but it does happen every now and then. And this is when during the interview, the visa officer tells you that your application has been approved or that your visa has been granted and doesn't give any indication of anything else being wrong. But a few days later, the status of your application changes from approved to under administrative processing. So in short, these are the scenarios in which your application can go into administrative processing. So once your interview is over, make sure to keep track of the status of your application online. So how much time does it take? Now officially all applications which are put under administrative processing have to be resolved within 60 days. So 60 days is the maximum time period uh, during which your visa application needs to be resolved if it is under administrative processing. But in my experience in India, the time period is much shorter. All applications which are put on hold uh, due to administrative processing usually get resolved within 10 to 15 days. So if your application is under administrative processing, then honestly, there is nothing much that you can do but to wait till it's resolved and a decision is reached. However, in this waiting time, you can prepare all your documents and get all your proofs ready, which you might be required to submit. So it's a good idea to go through your profile, go through your background and to see if there are any potential grey areas which might have led to your application coming under administrative processing and you can look to see how you can explain these uh, areas or if there's any additional proof that you can provide for the same. I have worked with candidates whose applications have been put under administrative processing and I have helped them to get through this process. So if you are in a similar situation and you need any help, then you can book a one-to-one -one consultation session with me. I will leave the link for that in the description box below. So after administrative processing is over, the visa officer will reach a decision regarding the status of your application. It will be either accepted or rejected and the same will be communicated to you. You will also be informed to come and collect your passports. In some rare cases, you might also be called for an additional round of interview or for a follow-up interview, the details of which will be given to you. 
and if this is the case then you need to go prepared for this interview you need to go prepared with any additional explanation that might be asked from you and also go prepared with all the documents and proofs that you might need to submit so in case you are preparing for this follow up interview or even for your main visa interview and you want my help then you can book a one to one session with me you know that the link for this is in the description box below so what happens if your visa application is denied after administrative processing now denial after administrative processing is similar to a normal visa rejection you can definitely apply again and it doesn't mean that you are permanently banned from applying for a us visa you can definitely apply again but it is just important to understand what are the mistakes which happened to correct those mistakes and then prepare a much stronger application when you apply for the next time So guys this was all the information on administrative processing in case you have more questions which didn't get covered in this video leave them in the comment section below and i will get back to you you can also dm me on instagram my instagram handle is right below so if you are in the process of getting your us visa and you need more information on any other topic then do check out my playlist and this playlist has a lot of videos on the us visa process right from ds160 to the interview and this will definitely help you out Additionally you can also book a one to one consultation session with me for a more personalized and a more customized approach to the US visa process. The link for that is in the description box below. So that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do share this with people who are facing the administrative process problem and help them out. I'll see you in the next one. Signing off for now. Bye.